everyone, welcome back to How Tech. Today we're going to show you how to change the wallpaper and the lock screen background on this iPhone 14 Pro. And that's the deep purple, by the way. Uh, so what you want to do is look for the settings menu, which is this concentric gears. It might not be in this location, but look for this. And you want to go down below general, you'll see wallpaper, which is this kind of icon. And just click on it. And now you have a lot of options. It's not just wallpaper. There's actually like dynamic wallpaper and you can actually change it in different ways. There's widgets too. So let's do add new wallpaper. And you can see there's all kinds of different types now. So there's this kind of dynamic ones with weather and astronomy. So wherever the positions of the planets are, this will change dynamically, phase of the moon, etc. cetera. Uh, there's emoji based ones. There's collections, depending on which kind of phone you have could come, that's the preset for this one. And then there's sort of sets of colors that kind of cycle through colors. So more than just like images, right? And then you can do photos. You can do emoji, like make your own new emoji combinations, which I don't know if anyone likes that really, but you can do that. And it sort of combines them all into a wallpaper. Uh, let's see, how do I get out of this one? Cancel. Um, and then you can also do the weather, which is basically the same combinations of the ones I just showed you. And you have to set location. So we'll cancel that. So that and the colors. So those are the same ones down below. For photos, you can actually select a single photo or this is like a collection. So for single photo, I don't haven't taken very many photos on this camera, but uh, yeah. So now you can actually zoom in and out and let's zoom it there. And then if you swipe, it actually changes the kind of filter on here. So some of these are kind of useless. I don't know. Uh, the a problem is though, like now if I wanted to scroll to the side here, I have to use two fingers. Um, so yeah, be careful here because it's like, oops, oops, I can't scroll. So it's kind of annoying, kind of a bad design. But anyway, so use two fingers and try not to zoom while you're scrolling. Uh, so you have some other options like depth effect. This one, for some reason, at least on some images, doesn't show up. You might need a, like a dynamic one. Uh, but then yeah, you can go back to your album and select some other ones. So yeah, it's only one though. So okay, so let's cancel this. We don't want to add that. Under collections, uh, you have deep purple, gold. So this is basically all the colors that this iPhone comes in. So let's stick to deep purple. And then here you can do the depth effect on or off. Okay, so once you've set it up, you can now customize it, which allows you to change and add widgets. So for example, I want to set my calendar or the air quality or my alarm clock schedules or the stock market, etc. battery life. This one's actually kind of important. So let's set that. And you can fit, I think, up to three or four of these small ones and maybe one big one. Yeah. So, and if you want to remove something, just click on it here and it disappears and then you can replace it. So there you go. And so then you can also change like the font here. The problem with this is you can actually make it like kind of unreadable, like too unreadable. Can you read that? I don't, I don't think you want to use that. So let's switch that back. Let's switch it back to here. Um, and that's just kind of ugly. So sometimes too much control is bad things. On the home screen, you have some different options because this is actually covered by the icons most of the time. So you can change to color. And if you want to change a color, click here. So it's not exactly infinitely adjustable, but it is pretty adjustable. So you can do a gradient. And if you pick a color, you can basically kind of cycle between lighter, and darker versions of that. So that's kind of what that looks like. Uh, photos is the same thing. So in this case, I'll pick Captain America again, and now Captain America's here, and now I can blur it. But blurring is like super blurry, so basically there's almost no point in putting that there. And if you want to change these widgets, first of all, you can scroll through several options, and I think if you hold it down, yeah, you can edit it there. Okay, so that's basically how you change the wallpaper. There's a few other options here. So for example, if I go to a picture, let's go back to Captain America again, uh, and I do this additional selection I can actually use as wallpaper here. And that allows me to do the exact same thing, like move it around, scale it, uh, do the, the different filters, and now choose it and let's see, done. And now it says, do I want to use it as a pair? Yes. Okay, so now I go here and there's Captain America and you can't see him here, but if I go down, yes, you can see him. And then the other option that it showed at the beginning is if you are in this one, you pull down 
now you can actually push and this is just like an apple watch where you press it and you hold and you can go through cycle through a bunch and then you can customize each one or you can add another one which brings you back here so anyway that's how you change the wallpaper on an iphone 14 pro and also the same actually on the non-pro see you guys next time here on how Techs. bye everyone welcome back to how Techs. today we have a hot off the presses iphone 13 pro max dual physical sim hong kong version and today i'm going to show you how to insert and remove